If you're running YouTube ads or you're thinking of running them in the future, or if you're a YouTube content creator, you've got to check out BytePlay. Even if you've never made an ad before, this is still worth checking out because BytePlay also has a YouTube ads training academy as part of their tool. And we'll have a look at that in this video a bit later. There are a few other YouTube ad tools out there like Power Ad Spy, TubeSift, Vidnetics, and Video Ad Vault, but most of them are quite expensive monthly subscriptions. And I think BytePlay offers the best value. So I'm gonna give you an overview and a review of BytePlay the good things and the not so good things about it. We're gonna take a look inside the dashboard. Now there's lots of different useful tools inside BytePlay, so we're gonna have a look at all of those. And make sure to stick around to the end of the video because I'll also show you a great free tool that you can use in combination with BytePlay or just as a standalone free YouTube ads tool. So before we get into the BytePlay review, there's links for deals on this software in the description below. They have a lifetime deal right now on AppSumo. That's the first link in the description. And they also have a seven day free trial on their website. Uh, but I just went for the, straight for the lifetime deal. So check that out if it's still available. So this is the BytePlay website. Now, like it says, it's the only YouTube growth hacking tool you'll ever need. Uh, there are so many different ways to use this tool as a whole suite. Um, we're gonna go straight into the dashboard and I'll show you all the different functions it has. So this is the, the BytePlay dashboard. Now, as you can see on the left here, this is um, the navigation. It's got tools and it says new. Now, pretty much every time I check inside the BytePlay dashboard, there's a new tool that's just been released or updated. Uh, they're constantly updating things and bringing new tools out, so that's quite exciting. You can scroll down on the dashboard to see all the different tools and their use cases, but we're just gonna go um, step by step on the left through each one. So the first one we've got is the video search. Now, what you can do here is search for different YouTube videos, um, and you can either search for, for them by keyword. You can also search ones that are similar to a certain video that you have. Um, you can even search for videos in a particular channel, or you can have a look at the trending videos um, on YouTube at the moment. So if we search by keyword, let's just do a very broad one and we'll just see what comes up. We'll try fitness, um, and just so that it doesn't load, doesn't take forever to load, we'll just do 50 results here, and click search. Pause it for about 10, 15 seconds there, um, just whilst it was loading, and we can see down here, it shows all these different fitness videos. It has all these stats on them, um, which is really cool. And we can actually do an advanced search. We click here, and there's a lot more options we can choose. So, you know, if you want the keyword to be an exact match, um, you can do that. If you want to have a minimum amount of views that you want each video to be that you want to see, you can also do that. Um, we've got different lines, licensing, so if you just want to search for ones that have no copyright on them, Creative Commons ones, you can also search for that. We can add in negative keywords. You can search by a particular country. Um, you can even do, you know, the most recent ones or anything like that. So there's, there's a lot of different options, obviously. Um, I encourage you to just go through and check all these out. Um, and we can also even search by um, if you just want monetized ones. So that's ones that are just showing ads at the start of the video or throughout the video. If you wanna find YouTube videos that you know you can actually run ads on, then this is a really good way to find out those. We can also do by um, similar to video. So if you've got a video that you want to, um, that you really like, or you wanna find videos similar to that video, you can type, paste in the YouTube video URL there, and then you'll find a lot of similar videos to that video, which is really cool. We've also got um, you can search by the channel, so you can actually search all the different videos um, on a particular channel ID, which is really handy for YouTube ads because you can actually search for a particular channel and then you can um, click them all and you can either export them as a C CSV or you can click get URLs and what will happen is they'll pop up here and then you can just control A and you can just copy and paste all of those um, YouTube uh, videos and you can just put them straight into placement. So if you're doing like placement targeting and YouTube ads, this is just a really simple, easy way to copy and paste them across. Um, something that the developers have obviously thought about for doing placement ads quite easily and simply. And then also you've got the um, trending videos. So you can search for certain videos that are trending within that particular category or niche. So say you're a YouTube content creator and you wanna find kind of trending videos that are out there at the moment. So you can try and do something similar. You can just search within BytePlay to find those. 
And next up, we got Find Influencer. So this is really a really interesting tool because you can use this in a lot of different ways. So I typed in fitness, um, so it's just come up with different fitness ones. Um, so say you are a YouTube ad, you are running YouTube ads, and you want to find a influencer to show your product or your service, um, who can promote it for you. You can use this to find certain influencers within that niche, or you can actually find these influencers and just show your ads at the start of those um, videos so that your audience will see those ads. So it's really powerful in both of those different ways. Next up, we've got saved lists. So this is where you can actually save all your different um, searches and videos and channels and keywords and everything like that, which is really handy just to keep everything together. We've also got keywords. So with this one, you can just type in a certain keyword. So let's say YouTube ads and it will give you um, suggestions for different uh, keywords you can use that are similar to that. You have to find, and you can also use Google as a search engine as well to find the relevant keywords. So here we go. This is um, showing us a load of different keywords. So we can do the same thing. We can just click all of them and we can click copy to keyboard, which is what I like to use. Now they've got one per line and you can also do comma separated value there. So you can cap copy them that way, which is really handy. Finally, we've got the tag generator. If you're creating YouTube videos, you can use this to find related tags to this video. So for example, with the video I'm currently recording, let's see what tags it suggests for me and we'll see how good it is. English and search. So here we go, here are some of the tags. Some of them wouldn't be exactly what I was looking for, but I think this is a bit of a niche search and you just click export tags and then it copies it for you there. The next tool is the video checker. So if you've got a video URL or ID, you can just paste it in here. I'll just go a YouTube video of mine. So I pause that for about five seconds to, for it to load and it's just popped up with my video here. It shows you the different keywords and the position that that's ranking for for each keyword, which is really, really cool and really handy if you're running, um, if you're making your own YouTube videos, but also if you're running ads for YouTube um, targeting, you can find the keywords where, where a video is ranking really highly. And if that's related to what you're advertising for, you should show it to those videos because they'll be highly relevant. By the way, if you don't know how to find and save YouTube ads, there should be a video appearing now that shows you exactly how to do that. So go check that out. Next up on our list of tools, we've got the video info. So what you can do here is paste in a video URL and it will give you info on that particular video. That only took two seconds to load there. And this just shows you information on that particular video here. And we can click this to go back to the video checker to see how it ranks for the different keywords. And we can click this one to go to the channel of that YouTube video. So I'll cross off that. And we've also got these power trackers. So this is just tracking different things. So if you've got a particular topic or a particular category that you wanna track, you can search it in here. And then when a new video comes up, it will actually alert you. You can turn on email alerts and it'll alert you when a new video comes up. So if you wanna stay on top of things, if you wanna kind of keep an eye on your competitors, if you wanna stay on top of trends when a new video comes out and you wanna create a video around that, or if you want to use it to run ads to new videos, you can also do it that way. So it's really useful and really handy for lots of different situations. And next we've got the conversion tracker. So this is specific for YouTube ads, and this is really powerful. I haven't actually used this, but um, I checked into how it works. By the way, um, if you do wanna learn how any of these work, they do have the how it works thing here, and they're really simple, straightforward, um, and short videos that just um, walk through each tool and show you how to do it. So what this is, is you can use this um, in combination with your YouTube ads. If you know how much your product or service or whatever your advertising costs, you can actually use the conversion tracker to track how much revenue you're getting in versus how much you're spending on your ads. So it's really cool in that way. And then we've also got the tracker here where you can actually track different videos or different channels. So if you've got some different competitors that you wanna keep an eye on, um, or if you just wanna kind of keep an eye on certain videos, you can use this. So if we go to the my channel here, 
This shows all the details about my channel. So it's got the description of the channel here. It's got the subscribers, the views, the videos, and all the different stats here, which are really cool. Uh, everything about the, your fans and how long, you, how many times you're uploading. Um, when I checked out the stats, the table, the graph here looked a little odd. Um, I think that's something they might need to fix because it's only showing today's um, views and today's subscribers, but that's a minor thing. It also shows the different recent videos as well. So loads of really powerful things here. And if we go back to the tracker, um, you can do exactly the same thing again with a video. So you can see a lot more of the stats for that particular video. So you can see all the different, the title here, the thumbnail, the description, um, everything like that, and even all the different tags. So you could always copy them straight across if you want. And it's even got all the stats about the <clears throat> video as well. So the likes, the dislikes, and the comments, and everything like that. Obviously, that's a lot of different tools already, um, really valuable so far. But if you go into the others, they have lots of different um, additional features for you. So the first one, which I think is really cool, uh, is the video maker. So they've actually partnered with wave.video. Um, so you can actually start creating your own ads within BytePlay using Wave, the Wave software. So I actually already use Wave Video um, to create and edit all of my videos and all my ads. It's a really powerful piece of software. And I love that they're actually partnering together to bring you this so that you can use both of these tools together. I'm actually planning on doing a Wave.video review sometime soon. So I'll leave a link for that when that comes up. Next, we've got the Academy. Now, this is incredible as well. This actually gives you um, a kind of detailed view of inside YouTube ads, how to create them, uh, all the different kind of things to do with like optimization, um, the different kind of targeting, remarketing, and all the scaling that you might need. So these guys haven't just created a tool, they actually run their own YouTube ads. They know what works and what doesn't, and they're sharing all their secrets within the, the bike play suite of tools here, which is really, really cool. Um, here you've got the video tutorial. So this is where it will um, take you if you click that how it works button, and it just shows you step by step, very simply, how to um, use each of the tools. There are so many reasons why I love this tool. You can search for monetized videos by placement, keywords, similar videos, and loads of other things like I just showed you. And they really provide you with everything you need. And they're constantly coming out with new updates and adding new tools as well. Now, I actually saw one of the people behind BytePlay a few years back before this was even developed on a YouTube video talking about how he was running YouTube ads for affiliate offers and how he wasn't happy with the current tools out there um, for YouTube ads. And so he was actually planning at the time of creating a tool and now it's actually live, which is really cool. And it just shows that the people behind BytePlay are actually YouTube advertisers looking for a solution to their own problem. Um, and they've created a very high quality tool built for helping others with YouTube ads because they know what they need and so they know what everyone else needs that's running YouTube ads. Another great thing like I've already covered is the Academy section where you can learn more about YouTube ads. Uh, it's really, really detailed and they know what they're talking about. Like I said, uh, even if you've been running ads for a while, I'm sure you'll learn a thing or two watching those videos. In terms of the negatives, there's really not too much I don't like about this tool, if I'm honest. A very minor negative is that, you know, the dashboard still looks a little bit outdated, a bit clunky, but to be honest, it doesn't really bother me um, I prefer that they spend most of their time developing and updating the tools that they've currently got out there. The other minor thing that I can think of right now is inside the video search, um, when I've gone to search for similar videos to a particular URL, um, ideally what I'm looking for are similar videos from a different channel because usually you're quite familiar with the channel you're looking at and you wanna find similar videos from different channels to what your, um, your video is like. However, when I searched, um, most of the similar videos were from that same channel, and I wish there was a way to um, exclude videos from a certain channel in this, inside this search. But I did leave that feedback to the developers, so hopefully it's something they'll change soon. So the lifetime deal, if you go across to BytePlay here, it's $99, which gives you access to all those different tools that I've just showed you. Um, so a really good price for an amazing suite of tools. If that deal is expired, um, on the Byte Play website, we'll go and have a look at the pricing here. And I think it's pretty much um, kind of in, in line with what the other tools are charging at the moment. 
Um, so here we go. We've got the, it starts from $99 a month and then goes up depending on what you need. Now they also offer a um, free trial for seven days. So you can always test it out as well. And it comes with a 15 day money back guarantee. So um, you can really try it out risk-free and see if it's right for you there. But if that lifetime deal is still available, I really encourage you to check that out. And I also promised I'd show you a free tool that you can use in combination with BytePlay all by itself that helps with YouTube ads. There's a free Chrome extension called SwipeTube that you can use to copy um, to, to copy all the ads you like into one swipe file. Um, so just search for SwipeTube on Chrome Store, and that's offered by a company called Vidtal, um, and they uh, also all for free within that. Chrome browser extension give you access to this dashboard where you can actually search for um, popular video ads. These are all ads here. You can and you have your own swipe folder there with all your ads that you can save there. Um, and what you can do, let's just search for an ad to show you. You can actually search for ads um, within your niche. For example, um, I one of my favorite uh, free website builders is um, Groove Funnels. So let's see if there's a Groove Funnels ad. So here you go, this is GrooveFunnels ad right here, and it actually gives you a lot of stats as well. It shows you how many views it's got. You can view the ad there. You can see an estimate of how much they're spending and that kind of thing, so it's really helpful um, if you wanna look at other ads out there. Like I said earlier, there's a link in the description down below for the lifetime deal on BytePlay. If that's not available, then the other link should take you through to the um, free trial. Other than that, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in another video.